Aries, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Starkeology Tarot. I am Desi. Uh, this is where you will be getting your December tarot reading, your December Starkeological dig. And what do I mean by that? I mean it's a deep dig into your present moment, your past, your future, um, your current challenges, and your highest path through those challenges. Um, we're looking for insight that will be ultimately healing and aligning and enlightening so that you can be your highest self. You can be acting from a high vibration, the highest vibration, no matter what life throws at you, no matter what December gives you. If you have additional intentions that you'd like to set on top of that, Aries, please take some time and do that now as I tune in with spirit and shuffle. Um, some of this will resonate with you and some of it won't. If it doesn't, it's just meant for another Aries. So take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. That's what's meant for you. Um, this is good for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're interested in understanding to a greater degree the unique um, the uni unique recipe that you are, <laughs> then feel free to watch your other placements. All 12 signs are up here. You can watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus to get that fuller picture. With that, let's, let's check in with the divine and see what's up. Aries, December is looking so exciting for you. Real potential for um, wish fulfillment, dream achieving, and healing on a deep level, because we have the star here. Um, the Knight of Pentacles flew out, which tells me that this is all about some sort of um, project that you have in the works or that you are launching in December. There's a new adventure um, that you're embarking on, a new quest that you're starting, and you're being very practical about it. Very, very practical. We have two um, Pentacles cards here and two Major Arcana cards. So there is a practicality and a logic to what you're doing. Very well planned, very well thought out. Um, and if it's not that yet, you know that that's what it needs to be and that's what's missing right now. Um, the thing about this Knight of Pentacles is that this is this is something that you know it's not going to be instant gratification. You know it's not going to be instant wish fulfillment, um, instant dream come true. Part of this dream coming true for you is knowing how much work it entails, knowing how much you have to put into it. And that makes the dream coming true, the wish fulfillment, all the more powerful, all the more potent. Um, you're not willing to cut corners and just skip to that because it doesn't mean the same thing would to you otherwise. So you're thinking about it really in the most grounded, healthy way that you possibly could be thinking about it. Um, it shows me that you're, you're just as invested in the progress as you are in the result. And of course the result is perfect, but the result doesn't mean anything without the context of, of the, the journey itself, um, the, the process. However, I would just say that something to be wary of is um, overlooking resources right in front of you, especially, especially in people around you who have a tendency or, or a desire to team up with you and support you in certain ways. This is not, does not have to be an, an all or nothing approach, like it's, it's me alone or it's or it's me with other people and then it's not my project anymore. That's what I'm hearing for some of you. This is, um, there are very, there's the people around you, your team, you're becoming closer to certain people. This project is bringing you closer to, per, to certain people and those people are chosen people. Um, you're not compromising at all by sharing with them, by sharing this project with them. In fact, it's only with them that you're able to 
make this be bigger than you ever could have accomplished if you were doing it alone. This is, a, this is something, this result, what you are creating will be greater than the sum of its parts and that is dependent on teamwork. That is dependent on the connections that you make with crucial people at this time, really deep connections too. Um, people that share your vision and might have different ideas about how to get there, but it's that collaboration that is so important in the fulfillment of that vision. Um, because they will see things that you don't see and vice versa. I'm sensing that some of you feel like it's all, like you want it to be all on your shoulders or you want it to be like, this is something that I carry out and I carry out alone. But the temperance card here is reminding us that the real divine gift of this situation is taking a more balanced approach. It's not, it's not taking an extreme, an extreme path. Um, and balance does not mean average. Balance does not mean mediocre. So if you're judging your path already by thinking, oh, this looks mediocre, this looks average, that doesn't look exciting to me, then you're making a, a crucial mistake in understanding the value of harmonizing extremes. Harmonizing extremes does not mean, does not lead to a necessarily mediocre medium or average. If anything, it just creates a more, a more harmonious process, which is what this project is largely about or what this goal is largely about for you. It is the process and there is teamwork in that process. If you really want this to fulfill the vision that you have for it, if you want the reality to live up to your dream, if you want it to be as big in real life as it is in your head or in your heart um, or as powerful or as beautiful or whatever that, that adjective is. Um, that is dependent on harmonizing, on really um, not going one binary way or the other, but really harmonizing different options and creating new paths, creating your own path forward, one that might seem impossible right now. In the Temperance card, you see the angel pours water from one goblet to another, and it's pouring diagonal. It's defying gravity. It's not going, you know, vertically. It's going like this. And that's to symbolize that, that, impo that seemingly impossible way. Um, sometimes the middle path, I'm hearing like the middle path is a miracle path for you. Some middle path here is a miracle path. And you might be overseeing it because you're looking so far ahead you're planning so far ahead. You have that logistical, practical outlook, like knowing that this is a marathon, not a race. And you're seeing that, that result. And it's a very big dream that you want to live up to. And you're seeing the path toward that, even though it's, it's measured and careful. It's still it's like if it were on a spectrum of paths, it still is an extreme path. It's still like I have to do everything, every little baby step this certain way if I want to get to that certain place. The Knight of Pentacles risks overlooking the, the goal that's right in front of his eyes, the, the, the resources that he has in his hand and the magic of those resources. And that's where I'm seeing that that magic, the magic of your resources, is in the team that surrounds you, is in the team that you put together, the people that you put together. Um, the way that you balance that team as well, that temperance card is applying to the creation of that team. That team has to be balanced. That team is a harmonizing of extreme viewpoints or extreme skill sets or you know, unique skill sets, unique talents. It's, it's a very well carefully planned and curate, curated um, collection of people, collection of talents, collection of resources. Maybe that Three of Pentacles is not necessarily a team of people. Maybe it is a team of a team of teams, or a team of um, organizations, or a team of of tools. 
But regardless, that team is, it's not about picking things that are alike. It's about harmonizing different notes. Different notes all geared towards creating the same song. It's through this way and recognizing the magic and miracle in that more harmonious path where um, you're not necessarily compromising your values or what is important, you're just harmonizing them with others, other differing ones. The miracle and magic in that, in finding that path, creating that path, recognizing that path right in front of you is crucial to the wish fulfillment of this goal. This, it's crucial to this dream actually coming true and it has every potential to come true because we have this dark card here. You're dreaming this because you are meant to achieve it. It's in your head because it has a need to be brought into the tangible reality right in front of you. It's in your heart. It's been put in your heart, planted like a seed, because it is your job to sprout that seed. It's those dreams that we know are, are the ones that um, are leading us to some greater purpose, are leading us to our next steps in life. And we don't always even have to question why, um, why that's planted in us. Um, you know, what does that mean? Because it's, it's the act of, of fulfilling them, of executing them, that provides that answer. And this is one of those dreams for you. This is one of those projects. This is one of those things that, um, is so is going to be so healing for you. It's also liberating for you. There's a there's something too about working with this team that is asking you to step up, challenging you to very much not compromise your beliefs, but simply harmonize them with others. There's a difference between those two things. That's the big thing that I'm getting here. And there's nothing to be ashamed of or hide about yourself, about how you see this vision, about what you can bring to this endeavor. Um, this is about you being naked in your pursuit, naked in your opinions, naked in your, like living your truth. Um, there's nothing to, to cover up here. This is, you have, there, there's a real, either this is happening naturally or there's a call for this to happen, which is um, a real vulnerability in the pursuit of this goal, in the pursuit of this dream. Um, especially vulnerability around others. This is, this is a time where you are letting down your defenses and, and working with others truly from a place of, of authentic collaboration, divine collaboration. There's no competition here. There's no ego involved. This is not about how you look to, to your teammates, how you look in this group. Um, are you trying to prove something to them? This is, this is so pure for the sake of, of just doing what it is that you're doing. It's, it's, it's for that goal and, and nothing else. The virtue of that goal. So as you go into December, Aries, just be mindful of that of that middle path, and not skipping over things because you fear that it's it's too safe or too average, too mediocre. That path could be in disguise for you. It could be disguised as that, and you could be avoiding something miraculous right in front of you, resources right in front of you. That, you're, that you just, your brain's not able to make the connection between these simple resources or these simple people and the absolutely extraordinary vision that you have. You might not be able to connect those things and see how these simple things can be part of this thing that's so complex and big and larger than life and magical. 
but it's not your job to figure out the magic and the simple parts. It's your job to put the simple parts together and see how the magic creates itself from those simple ingredients. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts here. And that process is going to be liberating for you. Really exciting, Aries. I would love to hear what this looks like specifically in your life, um, how these details are manifesting. So feel free to comment below and let me know. Um, I love connecting with you in that way. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, please share Starkeology Tarot with anyone who you feel needs a little extra support right now in these months. Um, this is a tough time for us all and I do this to connect with you and to offer you that support um, in whatever way I can. I am devoted, committed to you, and I'm so grateful that you are meeting me halfway here by watching the video. So, props to you. Um, thank you, Aries. I love you. Have a gosh darn fantastic December.